Yo, what's up guys, it's Noah here and welcome to this episode of Forgotten Homes Ontario. Today we're exploring this abandoned Canadian artist's home. It's really cool, there's actually a whole workshop studio of art and sculptures downstairs in the basement. It's amazing, it's pretty much untouched. So we're gonna quickly go through the rest of the house, it's pretty empty, and then we're gonna go check out down there. So, sit back, it's probably gonna be a long video, and I hope you guys enjoy. Alright, so we're starting at the main level. This would have been their living room area. You can see one sculpture up here of a dog, which is super creepy. And then it's a big open concept house, and it's been pretty gutted out. But it's in pretty good shape. Got a nice open sitting room here. Got chairs. Got part of a barbecue. But other than that, it's pretty empty. I think this would have just been a nice little chill area. It's, it's almost got like a patio feel without. What do you think it would? I was thinking it might be used as another studio. Actually, you could be right because it's got like this kind of. Because, so it's, and there's, so the difference would be it's because it's got more natural lighting, it's possible that she could use it for that. But that she used it for like a painting studio instead? Possibly. And probably down there it dries easier. Well, the, the product is from downstairs because it's wet, like mm -hmm. the basements are wet, so it keeps it cool so it hardens properly. Fair enough. She's probably right, she's actually somebody that paints and is an artist, I'm not. So, listen to her, not me, guys. So we got a wash from here. It's pretty nice, very small, but I feel like it was only one or two people living here. Maybe like a spare room. It's got some nice furniture, the real wood cupboards and dressers and stuff. Another empty room. Just a very green cupboard. Yeah. Wow, that is very green. Look at that, guys. God, what is this in here? Who knows? So as you guys can see over there, there's a piano. Nice. And it works. <laughs> and it works. It very much works. Thank you, I'm here all week. There's a lot of natural light in this house, but based on the fact that it's an artist's house, that doesn't really surprise me. Got a nice stone fireplace too. This room's really red. There's speakers in the walls here too, which is weird. It's cool though. And you can see the walls are sweating, which means that it's going to start molding out. This room has an actual bed in it. There's an old suitcase too. Small washroom again, don't need anything huge. Cool knobs on there. I always like the uh, faucet knobs. So this was probably the master bedroom. One thing that's interesting and seems very 80s to me. Would you say 80s? This kind of style? I guess so. 
is that they got a mirror on the roof. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, what's up, guys? Go follow Jeff on Instagram. He's the one that actually brought me to this spot. It's, it's super sick. So I appreciate it. His links will be in the description below. And if you want uh, your nudes taken, hit him up. Look at the cracking on the roof, the ceiling, too. It's dripping water all here. One thing I think is the coolest thing in this house is this washroom right here. Look at the mirrors, look at the... That is insane looking. Like you don't... You don't really see that very often guys, it's... It's super cool, like these old retro houses are the best. Alright guys, so we're about to check out the best part of the house. <laughs> look at this, it's a full... Artist studio in here, there's sculptures everywhere. And... They're creepy as hell. Like, look at this. Like, look at that. There's a bear back there. Looks like the waving bear. From, from like, <laughs> YouTube? Yeah. Let's go into the... There's even a statue right here. This is creepy. Yeah, I, think he's, I think he's supposed to have something behind his back. What the hell? There's even stuff. What is this? It's a horse. Wax horses. Mad. And that is like the wax babies. Is it? Yeah. What the this hell? This thing the freaking screw through its head. What about the human? Look at what is happening. Oh, it's getting attacked by a lion. I think these. Whoa. I mean, they were pretty good at what they did. <laughs> what? What is this? This, I think, is really cool. Mm -hmm. This bust or whatever. It's so well done, my god. Where are these babies? Right behind you. Right behind you in that little... My god. <laughs> There's literally a container of babies. Look at this. What? <laughs> it's so creepy. And there's just like a baby head, too. There's like... What, what's up with it? <laughs> so, there's a creepy statue in here, apparently. Wait, what? There's a nail in it? That's so creepy. What is it even? It's like looking down. Imagine, okay, imagine if you came here at nighttime. <laughs> yes! Look at the shadow that's passing over. Oh my god. That's I want to go up there. This painting's really cool too. Is it a painting? Well, it's a print. It's but a print. It looks like it's a sculpture. What do you think of this place being an artist yourself? I like it. <laughs> it's crazy. Is that your kiln? Like or is that a wax? That's wax. It's wax, okay. So that's what what would you call that? A wax? Like a heater for wax? Yeah. Or, they might not have used a kiln because it looks like they use a lot of wax and cement, so you don't need a kiln for cement to dry. This but. book isn't even in English. Yeah. This is creepy. <laughs> Look at this, there's like color pastels and stuff too. Look at this, I don't take, take sorry. That's how we go dark. Wow. Ew. <laughs> <Wait>. <laughs> that scared me. Guys, I just looked up and look at this. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Ah. What is this? Oh my god. Look at the detail though. But he has their muse. <laughs> their muse? <laughs> Apparently. Little they children? Oh. So None of this is in English. They're probably like Italian or something. No, it looks like it's like Russian. 
Yeah, it could be. But these are all like study. study Yeah, they could be studying different. Oh, this one's English. (laughs) The other one wasn't. It's like burnt. Look. Yeah, they're probably studying and learning different art styles and techniques and history and stuff. Somebody smashed one of them right here. Literally. But there's. It depends on how much the weight like, look at this. this is the like it's a whole display. So. Yeah. It's a whole it. display right in here, guys. It could be just a fan of his work. Like she, well, wow. Because it says it says here. It says here as well. That is. What? Yeah. That- Haunting. We should look. We should definitely look her up. I think yeah. it's a her. It could be. Whoa. A I don't know. That is terrifying. Some of these are really scary. There's Being that it's an abandoned spot, like it's just. There's yeah. There's a name though. Hmm. For the artist. Is the oh she, okay. She's a child. If you post. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She does bronze sculptures too. Yeah, that's what this one is. Oh yeah, this that's a, like, that's good timing. <laughs> this one's Toronto Canada bronze sculpture made in Canada. Yeah. Made, made in China. China. Um, Canada. On her website, the last piece she did was in 2012. So much it's stuff in here. Oh, no. Is that somebody getting hanged? No, it's a gun. They're like there's so there's like art like supplies and. This is this is like a time capsule. This specific spot in this house. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Oh, it says the gallery. Uh, may not be able to use that, but um. National Ballet of Canada, Gallery of Fine Arts in Toronto for 1981. That's crazy. That is crazy. That one's sick. That is sick. Archives. Hospital for sick children. So it's sick kids. So it says she did main, obviously mainly sculpture, but also printmaking and drawing. So, hey Haley, if I... Yeah, post that, these, but there's like, post even look, that, look at this. Post anything, post this. There's even sketches and stuff though. Like, yeah, that's, that's process work. Yeah, which is cool to see. So, oh my god, I don't want to break anything. That's like a, and then, yeah, they're just, ton- these are all the same, I think, actually, if you look at them. Yeah, and then there's like, whatever that, they're so heavy, though. I know, because they're wet, they're so damp. I don't think they're wet, oh, they are wet. They are. Here, wait. What does that say? I think it's the same thing you pulled out, just yeah. with. It's so crazy. What's this? Uh, what is this? Pastels. Is it? No, they're watercolors, I think. So they're watercolors. That's interesting to see. Look at these books, even, too. There's a couple heads just sitting there. The that was in the cloth, or the bag, is what made it chip. Mm-hmm. We spent hours. There's like a full diorama like up there on like a shelf. It's like barely hanging on and it looks like it has wax and everything. It looks heavy. It's like a nature scene though.
pot that she used for wax probably. Yeah, there's still wax inside of it. Just clay. It's almost malleable. There's another one wrapped up in here, another sculpture. She made her own cardboard <laughs> drawer. That's really kind of cool though, isn't it? Hmm? That's the one that the neck's gonna fall off. Man. Probably molding her hand and stuff in here too. I don't even know what to say. Look at this. We have another heating pot for um, melting the wax in there too. And some more sculptures. That one's a sex sculpture. Ooh, very talented artist though. We could literally spend hours in here just looking. And then you can see the decay. Like this place is gonna be redeveloped, so it's been bought now, but I don't understand why everything's left inside of here. There's like paints and there's paints and everything all in here too. Is it Yeah, and it's got a palette in it. And Does it? Underneath it would be where you could see like your paints or your pencils. It's gross. It's dirty. I wanna go see this. It's another sex sculpture right here. <laughs> Right, guys thank you so much for watching this explore of this abandoned artist home it's insane there's so much beautiful artwork left behind it's a shame we believe it's going to be redeveloped but hopefully they'll save some of it before but yeah if you guys enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe see you guys in the next one all right can we say that again okay so like you had just gone downstairs and i was gonna go meet you downstairs he's going wait 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 so there's him driving off right there. <laughs> he got a complaint. Right. Did he? No, yeah, he complained. He thought. Oh, they got a complaint about the car. My car. Yeah. Oh. My car was abandoned here. Oh. <laughs> so I'm, I'm walking to go meet you downstairs. I get to here and I hear a knock. And I'm like, what? <laughs> I look over and there's just a cop knocking on the window. <laughs> So I'm like, all right, cool. I go, I open the door, I'm like, hello, sir. <laughs> and he's like, he's like, what are you doing here? He's like, is that your car? I was like, oh yeah, like we're just taking pictures. He's like, taking pictures, what do you mean? And I was like, well, we, we explore places like this and like, we just take photos. He's like, oh, well, like you're, you're pretty far from home. Like I checked your license plate. I was like, yeah, we just traveled here. Just, we heard about it kind of thing. And he's like, oh, okay. 
do you mind if I come in? <laughs> I was like, come on, right? He's like, he's and like, that's when I walked he's up, like, right? He's like, who's, who's in there? I was like, oh, just I, some friends. That's what I heard, so I was like, okay, let me go see. And then I was like, hey, how's it going? Yeah, he just goes shake his <laughs> he hand. He shook his hand. But I was, like, I was like, yeah, we're just taking pictures. We're not really trying to do anything wrong kind of thing. And he's like, oh, yeah, yeah there's no complaint or anything. We just, I'd heard about, like, a car that was just left there. I was like, oh, yeah, that's my car. We'll just park close so I can walk up kind of thing. And he's like, oh, okay, well, if you, if you guys, I get, I'm, I'm gonna leave now, so I guess if you guys are like almost done, like you guys can leave too, but all right, cool. <laughs> Thank God, because I shit myself a little bit, I'm not gonna lie, I was like, well, that's gonna suck. You're so close to stepping Almost double shit, shit myself. So yeah, we're gonna just wrap up really quickly and then we're gonna head out so we don't push our luck anymore. 